What's up guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Now today I'm going to be teaching you how you can add a vintage look or effect to your photos uh, using Photoshop. Uh, if you just take a look here, the top one is the original image and the one below is the after image. So I'm going to be teaching you how you can transfer any sort of image to something that should look something along the lines of this. Now this I'm doing this in Photoshop as I said, but you, this can be also used done in... Um, any sort of video edit pro editing programs that simply we're going to be using is the curves so this supports After Effects, Sony Vegas etc so you can do this to videos as well uh, this is not me if you're just wondering guys uh, this picture of a friend uh, he wanted me to do something blah 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 and I was joking about making a tour but I thought I would just to be a laugh anyway let's crack on shall we go to file new and I've already got copied the picture so the properties will be exact so edit paste okay and this is the raw image so what we're going to be doing is going to add a color curve so just go down to the half semicircle and just go up to curves now I personally like to work my way up from the bottom so I go to blue first of all and I drag the bottom line up to the top line and the top line down to the second top line uh, I don't think that really made sense what I said but you see there uh, now go to the green tab and you can just pump it out just a little bit like so and go to the red tab and on the red tab you want to do exactly the same as what you did for the blue except for maybe not as not as intense so go halfway to the line I'll just see what looks good there we go that's looking alright uh, maybe go to RGB see what can go on there there we go uh, okay so that is about it for the curves uh, you can go ahead and just add any sort of thing you want now. That's that's the base of the whole thing. So maybe a levels. Drag in the black and the white. Uh, the grey you can... There we go. That looks quite nice. And as how to I got the sort of like lens flare. I just used No Light Factory for that. And you could search it and find it. Um, just go. I went to Filter, Red Giant and No Light Factory. And there we go, it's already on there, so that's how amazing I am. Okay, there you go, you have the basic image, and that is pretty much it, if I'm honest. Uh, thanks for watching this video, guys. Um, if you're still watching this, which you could well be, which you obviously are because you're listening to it. Um, if, you, if you saw my previous video, I said I was only 11. I was only joking, I'm actually 15, going on 16 soon. Um, so, yeah. Just thought I'd throw that in there so you guys don't think I'm 11. Uh, it, was, it was a joke. I, was, I did kind of hope I didn't sound 11 because that would be, um, that'd be weird or embarrassing. But anyway, I'm going to pull it to a close here, guys. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.